A lot of high growth businesses that are, you know, scaling rapidly, but potentially losing sight of their customer a little bit. That, you know, can cause you a lot of problems down the line. If you lose sight of your customer, how are you truly developing a product or service that they can truly engage with? Um, and in turn, how can you maintain your market share because of that? So one of the best cases that I've seen in the market for essentially tying into the changes in their customer is Gymshark. They've been really good at identifying changes in their customer profile, understanding how their customers actually want to be engaged, understanding the emotional aspects and emotional needs that their customers might have with feeling part of a community by sort of piggybacking off of influencers and doing a lot of influencer partnerships, especially at the grassroots level. So uh, influencers that have, you know, between one to five thousand and five thousand to ten thousand followers on social media platforms that in turn helps them create and foster a, a community feel makes uh, both the influencer and the people that follow them that are influenced by them part of a much larger community so you're probably thinking how can i relate to that i'm not gymshark my business doesn't do what they do one thing you need to do is think holistically about your customer what are the things other than sort of the common pains and gains that your customer might be facing that you need to think about. Is it how they like to be reached, how they like to be engaged, some of the emotional factors as well. The second thing is to not be afraid to challenge your own biases about who your customer is and what they are expecting out of you. And that leads us nicely into number three, the fact that your customer needs and expectations will change as your business changes, but also as the world around changes as well.